Now we're on to the final part of this, which is the deck and thicknesses of the head. One thing that I wanted to point out here is how a lot of the manufacturers now and what they're doing, they've all got wise to these weaknesses, which Brodex and Dart do it, is right in here, used to, that was a water passage where water came up through the block, come up through here and got around the seat. Well, Brodex and Dart both now learned to seal that off. Guess what? Our Pro Max head is done in the same fashion. It is totally sealed off, solid thickness. See, this gives support. Remember when uh, I do the tubes on my stage four head? Um, let's zoom in. Right here is an area that I like to see meet. Because when I put the tubes in and break through the port walls here and here, I need that support. Well, Promax has given it to me. They've absolutely given me great thick support. Solid. No water jackets right in through here. Now let's roll the head on its side and let's take a look at our deck thicknesses on this monster. Alright. All right, right here pretty much tells the story. That's why I had them cut it this way. When you take a head and saw it like this and go through it, man, it's like uh, lifting the dress of your favorite girlfriend or whatever, being able to... <laughs> it's, it's, it's about the same thing. You're really getting to see what they don't want you to see. All right, same thing. Now look here. Remember where that was? That was our deep water pocket deal. This is... Um, right up underneath uh, the uh, port. Now this is a water passage here, so let's see what kind of thickness that Pro Max gifted us with right here. Got my trusty old caliper. And uh, this head has been milled a few thousandths. I'm coming up with 678. So, you know, I'd say probably it was around seven, which that, that puts it in a category of three quarters of an inch of deck thickness on the cylinder head. You're not going to blow any head gaskets with this son of a gun. When it's that kind of thickness and aluminum right there, you have nothing to worry about. So right at 700 thousandths is what these things are. Uh, you got good, like I said, the other thing that I really, really like to compliment them on is I've studied their water passes trajectory. In other words, how they're getting water. From one end of the head to the other, the route, the passage that the water takes. They knew when they filled it up and started sealing it up around the seat areas and stuff that in order to get and dissipate the heat that they had to concentrate the water flow around the head in a fashion that wouldn't let it overheat and they done a great job of it so their water travel the thickness of the deck all that comes into play on this and it's a perfect job all right, now we're in for the last part that I wanted to show you, and this right here really puts the icing on the cake. Okay. Number one, all right, guys, let's complement the port shape. This right here really resembles the old uh, Pro Top Line head combustion chamber style with a good swoop right here for the intake. Partial coming up here, not too high of a kidney bean to hurt the damn uh, low lift and mid lift flows. But the part that's really worth mentioning here, let's see if we can zoom in. Look how close, look at that. I mean, this is just, this is the same type stuff. Actually, I'm, I'm going to give my hats off to Pro Max because they've got a better alignment here. The area to watch is, look where our valve seat is. Then boom, hardly any aluminum at all. No casting overhang. Pure seat to casting rollout. 
This will make my job a considerable amount easier because with the pro comps and even the darts and the brodaxes, it's called machinist ridge is the term, where it has a big buildup of aluminum right here. And I have to go in there and spend hours carefully trimming that down without hitting the seat. Pulling that down. Okay. And they've just done it. It's just one of the best jobs that I've ever seen. Uh, there's virtually no aluminum at all overhanging the seat. So with, with a mild combustion chamber work in this area, or this area right here, you would absolutely... Uh, be right there with the no aluminum overhang impeding interrupting the airflow as the valve opens I mean, it's just it probably isn't ten thousandths of aluminum right above the edge of the seat So I know I don't have to go in here and lower the floors Cut all that crap out come in the quarters to come in there and lower all that stuff They've done a lot of work for you which also means as far as a bolt-on head, just bolting it on with what it's got, the, just because of the way that they've lowered the aluminum and the combustion chamber floor, not letting all that machinist ridge overhang come up and protrude outward like that. Because remember, when you got a big protrusion of aluminum and there's the seat, the airflow can't go around it. It hits that wall and can't dump into the cylinder. Well... Promax, thank you for this part right here because you made my chamber work a lot easier getting it. Um, of course, I enhanced the shape. I do change the shape somewhat. But as far as the floor and the valve seats, um, there's no doubt this is the best aluminum 23 degree head I have seen, and I have seen them all. None of them come close to getting the aluminum that close to the seat and having a serious amount of overhang. Okay, so let's back up a minute. Well, at the end of the day, once again, it all comes down to one thing. The dividing line. American quality, American aluminum, heat treat material, China stuff. Low quality, low heat treat. That's what's separating them. That has been the one thing that has kept people, Brian, Brodex and Dart and spending that extra money. Them days are gone. Enter Pro Max. A 100% quality aluminum aftermarket head through heat treat material, seats, and guides. On par, equal to, or better than Dart or Brodex or AFR with a price just maybe about a hundred dollars or in right in that range more than a set of pro comps that that's just the part that just knocks me to the ground they've given us the quality they've given us the thickness in aluminum they've given us the heat treat and the aluminum and they've given us a damn good set of bronze guides inside the head really high quality ductile iron seats that are not going to fall out. So, um, this concludes my evaluation of the Pro Max head. At this point, I would like to say that the other part here, there will be one continuing part um, that y'all are going to find interesting. They have agreed to donate a pair of heads to Head Bites, and I've also got another set, and what, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a stage four port job with everything I can hit at it and I'm going to film most of the procedure all the way through it's going to get the tubes probably the seat cups it's uh it's going to get everything and uh, one set of these I'm doing for one of Promax's sponsored cars they're going to flow the head on the flow bench. They got a 1020, I believe. And then they're going to run it and campaign it on the car. I believe they might even dyno the heads as well. Not sure about that part. But it's, while they're doing that, I'm going to be actually doing two sets of these at the same time. Okay? And you'll get to see the results on Promax's website. 
and they're going to put video up and post it of their head, the car it's going on, and what they're doing. Because uh, if I can do a stage four port job on this cylinder head and hit it with the tubes and everything else, grinding wise, that's going to tell me what kind of shape I can put here and what I can do. And then the other set will be head bites that will be kept here. So anyway, uh, that concludes it. I hope it's been interesting to y'all. I know it has been to me because I've been, you know, for a long time wishing somebody would come and make a china head that was affordable, uh, that, you know, was on that quality level of Brodex or Dart. And one thing I might add is while the casting and foundry process, which is a, a I believe it's called a, a, a steel mold, is uh, done in China. All the finalized machining is done here in Promax. They use a Surdy machine, I believe, to do the valve job and their guide work. So the, the, the final machining, they're just not, in other words, they're just not shipped in from China and then sold like uh, ProComp and some of the other China heads are, the Summit stuff or JEG stuff. Once they get here, each head is taken out of the box and goes through a quality control process, I guess maybe similar to what Eagle does. This is what I've told that they do. And uh, the guides are checked and honed and the valve job is done here. So all of the assembly and machining, finalized machinery, is done here in the U.S. at Promax's plant in Alabama. All right, so uh, that being said, Next time we see it on this right here, I'll be knee-deep into cutting it for a stage four porting frenzy. See you later.